the model using recycled materials. There are some digestive organs. As you can see here, I used a shampoo bottle to represent the mouth. I use a small red bulb to represent the salivary glands. This small hose represents the esophagus. This plastic oil pump represents the stomach. The liver is represented by a soap bottle. This small green bulb represents the gallbladder. This eucalyptus oil bottle represents the pancreas. The oil pump hose represents the small intestine. This washing machine drain hose represents the large intestine. And the last one, the combination of the top of the washing machine drain hose and the top of the soda bottle represents the rectum and the anus. Now, I'm going to explain about the function of each organ. Let's start with the mouth. The mouth is an entry for food to enter our body. The mouth has three important parts. They are teeth, tongue, and salivary glands. The teeth chew and grind the food into smaller pieces. While the teeth are grinding the food, the salivary glands produce saliva that breaks the food into bolus. The saliva also makes the food moist, which helps us in chewing and swallowing the food. Then, the tongue will push the food into the esophagus. The esophagus or food pipe squeezes to move the food down. This squeezing motion is called peristalsis. It also occurs in the stomach and intestines. Then, the food will go to the stomach. The stomach is a place where the food gets pounded into chunks. Peristalsis in the stomach blends the food with gastric juices into a creamy liquid. The stomach releases acid and enzymes and start to dissolve the food and break down its proteins. After three hours in the stomach, the creamy liquid is ready to move to the small intestine. The small intestine has three parts. They are duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The small intestine helps to finish digesting the food with the enzymes produced by the pancreas as well as bile from the liver and the gallbladder. From the small intestine, the remaining water, vitamins, and minerals are absorbed in the large intestine. And the waste materials will be stored as feces in the rectum and will expel through the anus. Now, I will show you the simulation of the human digestive system. I'm going to pour this water into the mouth. Let's pretend this water as food. Mouth 
clean and healthy. And the last one, don't forget to exercise regularly to maintain a healthy weight. Okay, that's all from our presentation today. Don't forget to keep our digestive system healthy, okay? God bless you.